Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel where I post everything Harry Potter related. Today we have the very first DIY video that I am making. Uh, this was requested from one of you guys, one of my subscribers, to go ahead and do a DIY. Now, I'm not a big fan of DIYs, but I was thinking about opening up the Ford Anglia and somehow making it fly or float and looking pretty cool on my shelves. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So just sit back, relax. And if you guys are new here, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna go ahead real quick to Walmart to get my supplies. Hopefully uh, it's not too crazy due to the whole virus situation. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Hello. I don't wanna be in the video. <laughs> we're going to Walmart right now. We're gonna go ahead and try to do a DIY um, because I did get this Ford Anglia toy, little car replica thing. And I wanted to make it like somewhat look like it's flying on one of my shelves. So I want like really thin like pieces of, um, of cloth or something, like a line. So that way like it's not noticeable. And that way we could go ahead and make it fly. So I guess you could say this is like the very first DIY video that I'm gonna do. Not since your dad's birthday. Oh yeah, and we're filming at the same day as Slytherin Pride Day. Obviously, I don't have anything Slytherin on me right now. But if you guys go, wanna go ahead and check out my Instagram, go ahead and do so. The link is in the description. All right, so we got really thin fishing line. I got a four pounder and it's 0 0.08. So it's like really thin. And we just got regular scotch tape from the, the tape aisle. And that's basically it. That's what I'm using anyways. All right, and we are back. Switch this over here. So this is the Ford Anglia with little Harry Potter in the front. And it's a 1959 Ford Anglia. And it's super cool. It looks super cool in the in the whole um, box. But you know, I was like, you know what? Why why even have it in the box? The trunk and the hood and all the doors could open and all of that. So I thought it would be really cool to just have it there and actually be movable instead of just having a little box. And we obviously did get tape. So we got some hand tear tape and I'll show you why I'm using this. And then we got the we got this uh, fishing line that holds about four pounds. I'm gonna put multiple ones, so I'm pretty sure it would hold the car. I don't think the car is four pounds itself, but um, it's the thinnest that I could find. It was a 0 0.08 diagram, so it's like really thin. And obviously I got it clear for obvious reasons. I want it to not be visible. I want it to be like really, really thin. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? So first things first is we need to open the box and in the bottom here it says that we need to remove all screws with a screwdriver. Now I didn't even think this was needed like a whole screwdriver so I guess that will be the first thing we got to do. I'm so scared to open it because like come on this is a nice looking box. I don't know why but in every video I get the scissors like this and I cut like a freaking maniac but that's not how I cut on a regular basis it's just you know I don't know it's so weird because I, I caught myself doing this a couple of times already and I believe this comes out should I just go like you gotta do like like every Christmas I didn't want to do this but force my hand buddy bro can you let go of Jesus. Alrighty. Now I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna do with the Harry Potter. I'll probably just like stick it somewhere. I was able to get little Harry Potter off. Now this is pretty heavy for a Harry Potter, like a little tiny Harry Potter figurine. It was screwed on with like actual screws. So look at this. You hear that? That is like, that's heavy. Definitely heavy. So let's go ahead and take out the car and see how heavy that car is. Hopefully not too heavy because uh, definitely not trying to, you know, be here the whole day trying to figure this out. It doesn't weigh that much, but it definitely weighs quite a bit for a little tiny car. So the next thing is just 
cutting these off. It has the same interior as in the movie and as the model that if you guys have the chance to go or did have the chance to go to the one in the Warner Brothers studio lot, they do have a prop that you can actually get inside of, which is just like this one. Oh my God, the trunk opens up. There's like a little rust on the top. It just looks so like used. It, like, it looks like a used vehicle. But yeah, this is Ford Anglia with Harry Potter. Now, the big thing is taping it and stringing it to look like it's floating. So let's go ahead into that one. So as I showed you guys, you know, it has like the dirt around the bottom as well as on the top of the hood. It has like rust going from side to side as well as the hood right here all the way around. This is gonna be the first and the last DIY I'm probably ever gonna do. This, oh my God. I've done some like home little projects, but this has been the most annoying little thing. Like, look at this, check this out. Look at all the freaking like cable and fishing wire that I had to go, go through today. This is just ridiculous. Um, if you guys could find an even better solution for this mayhem please go ahead and comment down below because I need to know what better way to go ahead and showcase this uh, and make the illusion of a flying Ford Anglia because oh my god I'm even embarrassed to even show you guys this um, this is my best work because I'm a guy so clearly um, I don't have that many skills set in the DIY section but it looks pretty good like I mean from from here right it looks pretty good aside from like hold up let me see if i could cover if i cover the the light you can see the strings right but i mean can you really see the strings it's on strings by the way i hope you guys like from the stuff i said i was gonna use obviously is on strings but oh my god i went through so many different like variations of the strings that i'm terrified i think it's still like we're just waiting to fall but it looks pretty cool like just because it's like you know levitating you could sort of see the strings right here like maybe if i like I mean, okay so yeah you can see them right there and there's two on that side as well but yes it is 100 percent completely in the air just held by a couple of strings right there and also two over there on that side how are you guys liking it so guys real quick before i go ahead and end this video i wanted to go ahead and show you guys basically my progression i had to change a few little things obviously the tape wasn't really working for me the tape kept getting unstuck so it wasn't really working out for me so i opted out for this like kind of balancing act i'll show you guys a little bit up close right now the tape is fine but the tape from the bottom was kind of giving me problems so what i did let me go ahead and show you guys all right so what i did was the tape is still stuck up there but what i did is i did like this x figure from the bottom i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that real good so i have a line that's coming from this section and i cross it from the back of this um wheel all the way to the front of the right side of the wheel and then i have one coming from this side all the way to the back as well and it's literally getting balanced in the middle it's super it was super hard to put but it's perfectly balanced now and i'm super happy with it it, it doesn't fall i had to move the little harry potter over here on this side because every time i would fall this is actually really heavy like it's like it's a really heavy piece it's not made of like plastic or anything i think it's like maybe acrylic or something i have no idea but i had to move him because that thing weighs a lot and it fell on on it a couple times and I didn't want anything to break so i did move it but regardless that's kind of the finished product i guess i just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little up close of like basically everything i had to change i started off with regular tape then i moved to electrical tape it was a little bit stronger than the regular tape but it kept getting unstuck and it would just like fall and like let's say i would stick it on it'd be perfectly fine i would go to the bathroom come back and it would be like the car would be on the floor so this is a lot better to just not deal with all the tape and all of that so there you have it my first and probably last diy that's gonna be a wrap on today's video if you guys liked it definitely go ahead and hit that like button down below if you guys are new here definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you guys want to join the family i post harry potter content on a daily basis uh just like this one this is a rather strange one but 
regardless is a DIY Harry Potter edition so I was definitely happy to go ahead and do it and without further ado I'm out of here I love you guys I'll see you guys on the next one